let's talk about the Necessaire shampoo and conditioner. I've been using these for a few months now and as you can see I've used them up quite a bit. Now that I've been using them for a few months I wanted to make a review video for you guys, let you guys know my overall thoughts. First I'm gonna get into the details of these and then I will give you my overall thoughts. So starting off the shampoo and the conditioner. Hi Ali! Ali has joined us to be in the video. Okay, so first off, the shampoo and the conditioner, they both retail for $28 a piece, which might seem like kind of more on the pricier side, but I feel like it's definitely in range with a lot of like higher end types of products and Necessaire is, I feel like it's almost like a slightly luxury brand, but like minimalistic when it comes to their packaging. Um, and their price point is similar to a lot of other clean beauty brands. And these are free of parabens, sulfates, and a variety of other things. Look how cute you are. I love you. <laughs> These are free of sulfates, phthalates, parabens, PEGs, silicones, and synthetic fragrance. So the shampoo is said to be a clinical hyaluronic acid formula made to moisturize the scalp and the hair, remove product buildup, and reduce breakage. The shampoo is infused with AP scalp to... I don't know what that is, Api scalp, to help minimize thinning. I don't know if that's like a special ingredient complex that they have, um, but this is supposed to be good for hair dryness, scalp dryness, scalp aging, and scalp irritation. This formula, the highlighted ingredients in here are, it has 10% aloe vera leaf juice, it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3, vitamin B5. Also looking at the ingredient list, while it's not a super short ingredient list, I feel like the ingredient list is a lot smaller than a lot of shampoos that are on the market. This conditioner is also said to be a clinical hyaluronic acid formula made to moisturize the scalp and hair, remove product buildup, and reduce breakage. The conditioner is fused with Api scalp to help minimize thinning. The highlighted ingredients in here are 1% avocado oil, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, and Api scalp. These are hypoallergenic, they are dermatologist tested, and they are non-comedogenic. It also lists the pH on their website, which is great. It's awesome when brands do that. So the pH of the conditioner is between 4.0 and 5.0. pH of the shampoo is between 5.5 and 6.5. So now getting into my thoughts. So when I first started using these, with the, the shampoo I did really enjoy right off the bat. And something that I really like about both of them is that they are fragrance free. Sometimes I find that shampoos and conditioners that have fragrance, it can just be overwhelming to me or I don't always want my hair care products to have added fragrance. That's just a personal thing, but also I feel like added fragrance isn't really necessary when it comes to my hair care. I don't really need my hair to smell amazing. I just want my hair to be clean and moisturized and I don't really always care for the, the added ingredient of fragrance. So that's just something that I like about these is that they are fragrance free. Also, when I first started using the conditioner, I wasn't super impressed, but that is because I wasn't using it correctly. What I think makes this really unique and different from any other conditioner that I've ever tried is the fact that this is actually intended to be used on the scalp. And when I first started using it, I didn't read the directions and I just started using it like any other conditioner that I've ever used before and I would just focus it on the lengths and ends of my hair and I did not put it on the scalp but then when I read that this is supposed to be a scalp and hair treatment I was like oh snap you're supposed to use it on your scalp because if you've used conditioner before you know that you normally do not apply conditioner to the scalp because it can leave your hair looking oily after or make your hair just get oilier faster after you wash your hair but this is actually intended to be used on the scalp and once I started using this on the scalp the first time I used this on my scalp after I rinsed it out I was immediately like whoa it instantly made my hair feel so soft and I think that's also super impressive given the fact that this does not contain any silicones. My hair just felt absolutely so soft, so amazing. Also, I really like the packaging for the shampoo and the conditioner. They actually have like a twist lid, so it makes it really easy to use, but it's really great for traveling as well because you can kind of lock it into place. So it's great for traveling because it's easy to make sure that it's not gonna spill. Because I create a lot of content for you guys and I like to review new things for you guys, I do test out new products a lot, but I am very likely going to repurchase these because I absolutely love them. They're so, so good. I think what makes them so good is the fact that they are are relatively simple but also just do everything that I want a shampoo and a conditioner to do it's gonna really clean my hair without leaving my scalp feeling stripped but then also it's going to moisturize my hair 
and help with breakage and just make my hair look and feel really soft, which is truly what I want when it comes to a shampoo and a conditioner. You want a simple shampoo and conditioner and a conditioner that you can actually apply to your scalp. I would absolutely recommend these. If you'd like to check these out, I will have them listed and linked in the description box below. And it is an affiliate link that I have in the description box below, but if you're thinking about purchasing these anyway, it would mean a lot if you could use my link to help support me and my channel. That would mean a lot. No pressure to do so, but it would mean a lot if you did, if you're thinking of purchasing them anyway. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you're new here and you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this video and you want to see even more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, leave comments in my videos. I'd love to connect with you guys and get to know you guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video. Bye.